they're not going to do it anymore. To take away all the animals deprives the kids of a rare treat. These are upstate families reacting to a convention center decision to no longer welcome circus shows that feature live performing animals. Good evening, everybody. That means tonight's shows at the Greenville Convention Center will be the final act for an American tradition that's faded in recent years. The same animal rights group that pressured Ringling Brothers to shut down has set its sights now on another circus, a show that it calls one of the worst in how it treats its star performers. Our Ben Hoover is joining us live from the convention center where the final act is underway right now, Ben. Well, Amy and Gordon, if you ask PETA, they're the ones who convinced, convinced the convention center to no longer hold circuses in the future. But the GM tells me that the decision was operational. They rarely host circuses anyway, so he agreed to end any future circus acts here at the convention center. PETA is pleased with that decision, but parents here, not so much. Um, I used to go to the circus when I was a kid, and I want her to enjoy the same thing I did. It's a pleasant surprise for the kids to see the animals up close. It's as good as most kids get. Weeks before parents and kids lined up to see the show, PETA contacted convention center managers requesting animal-free shows. But managers here say Garden Brothers Circus refused. Currently forcing an elephant named Betty to give rise and perform even though she's chronically lame. Melanie Johnson with PETA says that's just one of the problems she laid out to managers about Garden Brothers, a circus the group says drags animals around the country in chains and forces them to perform under threat of punishment. I'm a little surprised and a little saddened. Uh, I certainly have heard nothing to, to indicate they're being unkind to their animals, they're mistreating them. I think it's terrible. I think, I mean, I think they're much better than they used to be. Convention Center management decided after tonight's shows, no more live performing animal shows will be booked. This is really another sign that Garden Brothers and all animal circuses, for that matter, need to go animal free if they plan to stay afloat. To take away all the animals deprives the kids of a rare treat. I tried several times today to contact uh, corporate representatives with the traveling circus here, the Garden Brothers. Uh, none of my phone calls and emails were returned. Uh, an on-site person here refused reporters' questions as well. Uh, back to the general manager, John Willis, here at the convention center and his decision uh, moving forward with no more circus acts. Uh, again, he looked at it more from a business standpoint, and he, he stresses they were not trying to make any sort of social stance. For now, we're live in Greenville, Ben Hoover, 7 News. Yeah, Ben, they do have the dog shows that come through there, and I think you said the manager is saying that's not going to be impacted. <laughs> That's right. No impact to the dog shows that they hold here at the convention center throughout the year. Uh, also, uh, and I asked about reptile shows because sometimes they have those reptile sales sure. shows. He says they don't host those here at the convention center. All right, Ben Hoover, live tonight. Thank you. Charges have been.